Hello guys, welcome back. So far what we have done is we have created a custom object called knowledge article which stores bunch of knowledge articles for us. And those knowledge articles are related to different types of issues that can happen with iPhone, right? So we created bunch of records under this knowledge article. Now what we're going to do is we are going to create a flow because we have to see how to call a flow within your prompt template. So we have to create a flow first. So we'll go over to the setup and uh, we will go to the setup and we'll call for flow. Now what is the reason of doing all this? Basically up till this point we were only able to fetch information from the record and the related entities to that record. When we were talking about account summary, we were able to fetch related opportunities and related cases because they were tied to that account. But what if I want to call and get information from an object which is not even tied to it? How do I get that? So from your flow, you can call those records, fetch the data and pass that data or pass these instructions over to your prompt template. Okay, so that is the reason we are learning about it is how to call a flow and that flow can give you an output from wherever, right? You can fetch knowledge articles, send those knowledge articles to your prompt and then prompt will use those knowledge articles to come up with a solution. So here I'm going to go and look for flow here. So we'll go to the flow and uh, click on flows under process automation, click on new flow, start from scratch, hit next. And the type of flow I'm going to use is template triggered prompt flow launches from a prompt template. So from your prompt template, if you want to call a flow, this is the type of the flow that you're going to create. Add prompt instructions to the associated prompt template. So if you want to pass any instructions or any output to your prompt template, you're going to use this flow. So this is the flow we are using. Click on create. And then here it is asking the input type. Is it going to be a manual input or automatic input? I'm going to choose automatic input. Use the inputs provided by a specified prompt template type to store prompt template information. So this is the op automatic I'm going to use. Select the prompt template type. Now you can choose these are the options. Sales email template capability. So what type of prompt template it is? Are you going to create a sales email template are you going to create a record summary template or are you going to create a field generation? Since we are going to create a field generation, I am going to use this option here. The template type is going to be field generation template capability, right? Basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to find solutions to my cases based on the knowledge articles and pass those solution over to the user. Then it is asking set the input data type. So when you're creating the prompt template, we are going to use case subject, right? Based on the case subject, we will fetch the knowledge article and we will send it. So in the prompt template, we are going to refer the case object. So the same object would be referenced over here as well. We have not created the prompt template yet, but we are going to populate the description field that is available on the case object with our data. Okay, and the data is going to be the solution to that case depending on the subject of the case. Okay, so we will populate the solution into the case description field. So what is the object in reference is going to be case. So this case object would be used. The input data types is the case here and then we will save it. I'll call this as pass solutions, pass case solutions prompt and hit save here very simple now the first thing I need to do is I need to fetch knowledge articles right so in the flow I'm going to use get records here so I'm gonna go ahead and go over to get records very simple and what type of records we're going to fetch obviously knowledge articles right so we're going to say fetch knowledge articles get records of this object which object knowledge article so i'm going to go ahead and fetch this knowledge article now there are four or five knowledge articles which one do you want to fetch wherever the issue type issue type is going to match the case subject so based on what type of case it is what is the subject of the case we are going to find the respective knowledge article from the list so we're going to go ahead and there is a field available called input here Remember in the previous screen in this, we passed the case object. So case object fields will be available. Case related entity 
and which field subject field so there is a field available here because why this is available because in the previous screen in the set input type you said we are going to be using case record and that's why the case fields are available over here so i'm saying fetch me the knowledge article based on the issue type matches the subject okay and how we will pass all that information we'll see it in a minute so input related entity dot subject is the one that we are passing and if a knowledge article is present matching to that issue that is the knowledge article we need to retrieve so only the first record everything is as it is hit save so we have fetched the knowledge article now now next thing is we need to pass this knowledge article to our prompt right the whole thing so there is an option available called as add prompt instructions that is what we're going to call so this is add prompt instructions we're going to go ahead and select this option here what instructions you want to pass so here i'm going to say pass the knowledge article that is the name pass the knowledge article now enter the text and insert merge field resources now the knowledge article has two fields mainly one is the issue type and the other one is the solution right the rec the recommendation if you go over to this you have two fields here one is the type and then the other one is resolution so this resolution is what we need to pass it over to our prompt template so here what i'm going to say i'm going to get from the knowledge article i'm going to fetch the issue that is the issue type here okay so the issue two things i'm passing issue type and the other one that i'm passing is the solution so i'm going to go ahead and look for resolution here so this is the two information that i'm going to be passing to my prompt template issue type and the other one is the resolution so we are good to go you can pass a static text as well so what instructions do you want to pass to your prompt template that is what this particular add prompt instruction is going to do so what we are doing in this flow is this flow is ready first thing is we created a template triggered prompt flow means it can be invoked from your template prompt template then in this flow what we are doing is we are fetching the knowledge article we are retrieving the knowledge article not all knowledge article only the subject of the case matching to the issue type of our knowledge article okay so from the prompt template we will be passing let's say the subject and that subject we are going to see if it matches the knowledge article and if it does it is going to fetch the knowledge article and then we are passing that knowledge article back to our prompt template okay and these are the fields so we're going to go ahead and do save as save and we will activate it now let's store the name of this before i forget what is the name of my flow so i'm going to go ahead and uh, open notepad and i will store the name over here okay and then we will go over to our prompt template right so we'll go to the prompt builder and we will create a new prompt template how to do that we are going to see you in the next video i'll see you then thank you very much